At last, you are asleep. For three nights, each attempt to rest has brought you starting from your bed in fright, with no memory of what horrified you so. With a sickening sense of deja vu, you begin to dream. Treachery and doom, my brother would unleash the great evil. Britannia is in peril. Sure that the ghost can take you to Britannia, you allow yourself to be drawn to him. A visitor, and from far away indeed. Were he not dead, I'd suspect my brother sent thee. No matter, thou shalt serve to draw the hounds from the scent. Below, a creature heads toward the dark woods, a thrashing sack slung over its massive shoulder. What hast thou done with our lord's daughter, Ariel? Drop to below to an accomplice, all right, ya? Well, he'll not escape us, and when we bring him back, he'll both hang. Several tense hours later, you are dragged before Baron Ulmrich. Ignoring you, Ulmrich questions his captain. What news, Corwin? Forgive us, my lord. The foul creature escaped. A score of escape chase, but it fled into the stodgy and abyss with poor Ariel. We were attacked. Goblins and worse, my lord. Only three of us survived. I see. The Baron turns his hard grey eyes upon you. I was warned of thy coming. Last fortnight, an apparition of an old, haggard man appeared in my dreams. Guard thy daughter well, it warned, for an evil one shall come to steal her away. I posted guards at Ariel's door, but still you took her from me. They say thou didst drop her to a troll waiting below. What sayest thou? You explain that you are the Avatar, and that you are innocent. Whether thou speak truth or falsehood, I cannot say. Stories tell of the coming of the Avatar, but years have passed since he visited here. If thou art truly the Avatar, then perhaps thou canst offer hope. None here can survive this Tygene Abyss and rescue Ariel. My mind is set. Corwin shall take thee to the Abyss. Return here with my daughter, and thy innocence shall be proven. If thou dost not return, Avatar, then thy lies shall have brought thee low. This be the foul pit's only entrance. Once it is locked, none can pass. I will shut thee in and stand guard till I hear Ariel's voice from within. Otherwise, twill remain shut forever.